Okay guys, Big Al here. Today we are continuing our series with the 22 Hornet reloading and we are on to priming. Last video we did uh, case trimming and uh, uh, case mouth chamfering. That was a long video, but um, it just shows you how long it takes. I'm not going to really edit these. I'm just going to show you how long it takes. So this is your priming tool. Got your primers there face up inside it. Just pour them in there and then you shake it and then they orient themselves upwards. It's a typical hand priming tool. Place your case at the top, pull your handle, and there you go. Now you tilt it down, the primers go into the little uh, lifter. Set your case into the shell holder, lift it up, feel the seat. These Hornet cases, I don't know if it's just these or most small rifle prime cases feel like this, but that's really easy pull. Not much when I'm doing large rifle. I usually like to set it against the bench so I can get a nice consistent seat. But these are easy to do by hand without much effort. These go pretty fast, unless you, unless you have a progressive press, it's hard to beat the speed of these hand priming tools and the versatility. They make a, this is RCBS hand priming tool, they make, uh, I think RCBS also makes a uh, universal uh, shell holder one, this one you have to insert the shell holders. So that would be something interesting to use, but I don't know if it's spring adjusted or if you have to actually adjust a screw. Because this one takes a minute or two to change shell holders. That's not half bad. One thing I noticed when I was oh, come on. getting some, there we go. One thing I noticed when I was loading the primers into here is that when you shake them, they do not um, uh, get strapped. <laughs> they do not orient themselves in the correct position as easily as large rifle primers do, which isn't really a big deal. You can just go in and flip them yourself, but just thought it was something that I should mention. I'm using uh, CCI number 400 small rifle primers. They've been all I've been using, so a lot of people use them though, so nothing fancy. I might not have enough primers to finish this up. Might have to open a new pack. Kind of just threw a bunch in there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Okay, though. One thing I have not mentioned thus far, and it's because I've not done it, but usually after I'm done chamfering and cleaning the uh, primer pocket, I usually clean them with an alcohol um, thing, but I did not do that because they really were not that bad. It's something you can do, though, so do that for all my ammo that I test and any accurate stuff I load in. I uh, make sure to wipe it all clean just so there's no piece of brass or anything that gets stuck on there. Yep, we almost made it, but we have 
going to have like 10 pieces of brass left, so we'll crack open a brand new thing of primers. Then you get to see me load them, maybe, if I can get it in the camera. Yep, happy. This goes on the floor. And a new pack of primers. Got tape on it. It's easy at 400s. There you go. Small rifle. How much tape do they need? Apparently a lot. Guess you don't want anybody just grabbing primers. That's stupid. You know, I have to just pull out a knife. Make quicker work of this thing. We really stick to that for sure. Both sides of the cardboard. Unbelievable. There we go. You don't know what primers look like. Just in a bunch of trays. How many do I actually need to load? Yeah, I only need to load ten. There's ten in a row. So, get your ten out positioned. Get your... I don't want to fill out. Get your loading tool take off the plastic cover turn it upside down put your primers right up against it like that flip it upside down and there they are on your loading tray now they're not all positioned correctly you want them with the exposed part facing up and the silver side facing down, so you shake them, and it's supposed to flip them, but that one, yeah, there we go. It's a little better with a little bit less primers. And then you reposition your plastic shield on top of it, and you're ready to go. We'll do the last ten. This is that one that fell on the floor. Priming does not take that long. This video will be a short video, but I will not include powder in this video because powder will take a few seconds to set up. And uh, we'll make this another long video. We don't need one of those, so make it short. more. There we go. Sometimes, as you can see there, do not come up straight. That's why you gotta watch every time. Ah, there it falls on the floor. Anyways, you can just manually position it where you need to. Straight up on it. Let it drop. Oh, man. It's not gonna go. Put it back in. See. Many have them. 47 of them. Ready to go. On a powder. Measuring. Stay tuned for that video. See you next time. Big Al out.